What's up guys, in today's video we're going to talk about why you should start printing your photos if you haven't already and benefit of doing so. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Alright guys, so the first benefit is to get something out of the virtual world into the real world by simply printing your photos because you're moving it from your device to a piece of paper where you can actually touch it and whatnot. Now, you see, when you print your photo or you go ahead and take your photos, you share it on social media and then the process ends there and then you end up basically storing it into your hard drive and the odds of you looking back into that photo is very slim. You the minute you store that photo, you move into the next thing. You see, your photo essentially end up existing in your hard drive or your computer or your phone in a form of gigabyte or megabyte, you know, with a higher risk of being lost into oblivion with, let's say, a hard drive failure or a software malfunction where your phone is no longer able to power on. But when you print your photo, you create something tangible out of thin air. That moment in time that live in the digital mind of your camera can now be held in your hand essentially bring your own work to life and guys to be honest that that may just be the best way of keeping those memory around you know memory of places that you've been you visited or people you love or memory of you doing cool stuff with your friends because with the ever-changing landscape of computing and technology you know jpeg files or raw files may no longer be available in the, in the next 10, 20 years, you know? And who knows how you aren't going to be able to access the photos that you store in your hard drive down the road. So that longevity with computing, as much as we use it every day, is not always guaranteed. Moving into the second reason why you should be printing your photos. Essentially, when you print your photo, it makes you a better editor. Most of us look at our photos on devices, on screens, whether it's computer or smartphone. And on screens, basically, those photos are backlit and then projected back to us. Therefore, you're not able to see all the small flaws. Let's say it dust that was hanging in the air or it dust that was in your lens because if your lens is not clean, it's gonna capture all those details. And those screens hide a lot of flaws that your photo may have. But when you print your photo, especially in a larger size, all the detail get amplified. You can see whether there was there was a you know a tiny piece of dust that need to be removed, or a saturation that need to be increased or decreased, a contrast that need to be adjusted or increase or you know uh, increase or decrease as well. All those little things. Essentially, printing your photos allows you to be able to critically analyze all those little details, all all those little elements that you are not able to see on your screen and. The fact that you just have your photo in your paper with you, you'll be able to re recalibrate how you edit your workflow and therefore thinking, oh, you know what, maybe I exaggerate with certain colors and be able to tone it down or increase it and decrease it. Essentially making you a better editor because you have that work tangible with you in your hand and you're able to critically analyze every piece or every element of your workflow. This essentially ties into the reason number three which is printing your photos makes you a better photographer and also improve your photography skills. As I mentioned earlier, when you print your photos, especially in a larger size, all the details, whether good or bad, are becoming visible. And don't get me wrong, Photoshop, Lightroom, and many other editing software out there are amazing, and a lot of artists use those tools to create a masterpiece. But if you're using it to kind of like polish your image or hide those stir, then you're using it wrong. And sometimes excessive editing or polishing on, polishing your image in Lightroom or in Photoshop can be great, but let's be honest, it can also sometimes be a form of a lazy photography. I mean, which we're all guilty of, to be honest. But um, when you print your photos and realize all the tiny little, di all the tiny little flaws that you could have done before taking that photo, it make you rethink that, oh, you know what? I should get it right in the camera before actually bringing it into my editing software. So next time you pick up your camera, you should start thinking of getting it right in the camera first before thinking of your post-production work. Basically, you have to make sure that your camera, your lens is dust-free, it's clean, your shutter speed is dust-free as well as clean before snapping that uh, bucket list shot of yours that you always wanted to take. That way, because if you take all those steps to assure that your camera is clean and all that, it will just reduce the amount of 
post-production work that you need to put into a, pictures, a picture before editing. Um, so that's something that you should definitely keep in mind, ultimately making you a better photographer. Now, this moves us into the reason number four. Printing your photo is just fulfilling and satisfying. To be honest, there is nothing that is deeply satisfying than seeing your, you know, your carefully crafted image onto a piece of paper where you can actually touch it and you know be able to look at it and be like, oh wow, I actually I'm the one who took this picture and it turns out just the way I wanted it to be. So that alone is one of the reasons why you should be printing your photo. The adrenaline, the excitement, it's just I don't know, I cannot just explain it because I've done it a couple of times and I've been super excited about just like the feeling of seeing my photo, especially like in larger prints and be like, wow, I took this photo, you know, like, it's amazing. This one echoes what I've been saying throughout this video, you know, seeing your all your hard work and dedication into a piece of paper is just beautiful, satisfying and fulfilling, you know. So if you haven't tried printing your photo, I absolutely urge you to go ahead and give it a try you know go out print your own photo I'm sure it may not turn out the way you wanted it to, to be but I still that shouldn't be a, something that should disappoint you but rather it should be a learning uh, opportunity for you to go uh, print your own work and see if it turns out great from, from right from the get-go that's good which means you've done what you wanted to do you know but if there's areas of improvement take those little cues where a piece of paper will allow you to, to do and change your workflow and adjust and become a better photographer. That's something I really urge you to give it a try. I've been doing it myself. Uh, some of my prints turned out beautiful. Like literally the way I, I saw it on the screen and I printed it on a piece of paper, the difference was maybe like 5% difference there because of course when you print something on a piece of paper, it always looks different than when you're looking at it on the screen. So, Go ahead and try it out and I want to see, I want to hear you in a, on a comment section below to see if you haven't done it before, try it out and see if you like it or not and just tell me your process and if you've done it before, I want to hear your feedback and what you've learned out of it and and go from there. Alright guys, so that's all for me for today. I would like to thank you again for watching and then if you learned something new, please let me know. If I convince you to try something new, absolutely, give me, let me know in the comments below as well. Now, on that note, if it's your first time to be in this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, and all that fun stuff, and also follow me on Instagram. Until then, guys, peace out. Or should I be like here? Let's see.